Good morning. Good morning. Today we're going to show you how to put on our rooftop. The first thing we need to do is put these crossbars up on the car. Um, you should have two crossbars, four end caps, um, one for each side, and then like four grippies and four attachers. Four. <laughs> Perfect. We're not technical, but we know how to do this. <laughs> it's really important to know, I think, that the crossbars do not come with the tent. Yes. Because we made that mistake and we had to run back to the store and get some before our trip. Yeah. So make sure you have both your tent and the crossbars. And crossbars can be different depending on the car you have. So make yes. sure you go to a store and get the right ones. We literally just went to REI and asked them, okay, this is our car. What kind do we need? And they were great. Yep. So. so what Tyler's doing right now is he's putting the crossbars up on our roof. Um, it's super important to make sure that they are even, um, even on both sides and then also like front to back. So first off I have to undo the screw that covers the hole where the bracket will go. These are like the bars that come attached to Tyler's Jeep. So we have to attach the crossbars to these bars. We can't unfortunately just connect the tent to these. Now I'm putting in the, uh, trying to think of what it is. I'm calling it the attacher. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> or a bracket. Yeah, that's a better word. Okay, so after putting the metal bracket on here, you want to put the spacer on. And make sure that these holes um, are on the outside of your car. And then that just fits on the back. Yep. Now what we have to do is screw it in. And these screws will just go into the rubber into the metal and then on the back there's a pole. Yep. Then you should have the end cap and that should just kind of fit into place. Let's hope. If you well, did everything right, which, it fits perfectly and then with a flathead you're just going to lock it so it doesn't fly away while you're driving. And just a quarter turn. Yep. All done. Now we have four more, three more to go. <laughs> All right, phase one. Done. Complete. Now to put the tent on. All right, so now we have to use these brackets. I'm just gonna call everything a bracket. Perfect. <laughs> we have to use these to secure the tent onto the uh, crossbars that we just put on. All right, so this is the thing that goes inside the tent. It's a bracket. A bracket. <laughs> So there's like a little track that it just slides into and then it just slides down this whole bracket on the tent. Get two there and then lift it up. And then one goes on each side of the crossbar where it connects. So then we have one and one. And we're going to do that to each area where they touch. Yep. Last thing to do now is to screw in all those brackets. <laughs> Which is not the fun part. <laughs> Tyler is finishing up screwing in the last of those brackets. <laughs> and um, I'm going to put on these. So these are like the rubber end caps that go on. Okay, so at the front and the back of your tent, you're gonna have the two bars that are attached to the tent. Um, basically these are just covers for them um, so like no bugs or yucky stuff gets in there so they just kind of pop in and it's good to go it's a good thing to try we passed <laughs> so we're all done now we're gonna go um, on our first camping trip yes. of the season Be sure to hit the subscribe button yes and see us set it up and see our camping trip yeah it'll be amazing Okay, bye. All right, bye. <laughs>